Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you're having a great day. Quick look again at ICP, double checking this. Uh, I'd tell you what folks, just being honest, ICP is not looking very good right now. Got a lot of liquidation on the downside still. We're gonna double check that number and verify, but um, really there's a range between 640 and 770. That is uh, pretty dangerous. And what I mean by that is we very well could see a sweep at that level because Bitcoin being overextended like this, likely due to correct itself, and if it does, ICP will follow suit. And if you take a look here, how well has ICP performed in light of Bitcoin uh, com comparison, right? Take a comparison here. Bitcoin continued higher here. Like Bitcoin's basically been doing one of these and ICP has been doing one of these. This is not good. Higher high is nice, but it's still not a great, great sign here. In fact, it kind of looks like we are, um, you know, creating somewhat of a bear flag pattern here. I could be totally off but I think there's a potential we could see further downs. I'm just kind of throwing it out there based on what I see here limitedly. Um, are we going to take this and just go ahead and go with it right now, a short to zero? Totally not. We're going to look at some back end data, double check a few things first. So if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Thanks for hitting that like button, consistently helping us grow the channel. Um, more importantly, getting this in front of more people outside of those stinking moon boys who get all the views and they destroy so many accounts. Um, Truth be told, I'm not the world's best trader. I just trade fairly consistently and most of my trades based on confirmation that I try to highlight here in these videos. So keep in mind, um, you know, we have a lot of new traders coming over to our community. And if you are part of that group, just know that I am not perfect. You see my results here. I mean, maybe 80% accurate for the most part. You're still gonna find uh, some losses here, okay? In fact, we closed some of our longs one, one long as uh, specifically uh, with Filecoin here earlier yesterday, and then we opened a short instead, and we secured some profits from, what was it, SEI, I think it was. Nothing monumental. Again, these are 5X leverage trades, folks. We're not getting too crazy, but the whole concept is to be safe and uh, make sure you're not getting destroyed in this um, ridiculous market. And I say ridiculous because it is pretty crazy, the, the nonsense we consistently see. Anyways, take a look here. 760, we can see a lot of liquidation there. This is the last seven days on the left. We look on the right-hand side here, though. This is what concerns me the most. Um, this is the last uh, month. We can see, obviously, we got a pretty nice little support there at about 760, but we keep knocking on that door. The more often we test the support, the more likely it is to break. And with how poorly ICP is paired with Bitcoin, it almost seems sensible and logical at this point just to short to those levels. Once more, you want to be careful doing so. With a pretty high delta here, generally speaking, when the liquidation delta is um, over-exaggerated, the price will likely um, reverse itself. So we could see some alts start to take off here soon, but that's kind of a, a hope and a prayer, if you will. And right now at this point, um, I don't really see a lot of reasons why this coin should go up from here. But we'll look at some important stuff here, make sure we double check a few key factors. Now, when it comes to FIB levels here, um, usually I like to kind of give us slightly larger FIB uh, understandings here. In other words, when, when we're testing this lower range, obviously we know the lowest point there is a zero. If we take a look at, though at the slightly larger uh, macro, we can kind of recognize we've been consolidating nicely in this 0.618 FIB level. Okay, so again, when all else fails, you want to zoom out and draw some slightly larger macro FIBs that'll give you better support and resistance ranges. Okay, so we are in a support range right now at that low $8 mark or upper $7 uh, range, 797, 790 to about $8 even is that area. Okay, so we know the liquidation is there. We'll just go ahead and leave that there. Let's double check a few things here. First of all, you gotta recognize Bitcoin and most other stronger coins are gonna be above 50 in the RSI, below 70. Uh, right now, of course, you take a look at Bitcoin, it's getting, it's tentatively rejecting out at this 70 mark. So I'd be surprised and remiss if Bitcoin goes much higher right now. It would make a lot more sense for it to consolidate before it legs up again. Either way you look at it, we are underneath the key level resistance for ICP and we need to recognize that. Money flow index, while it's coming up, it's still very low. We can see stochastic RSI is swinging up. MACD is trying to converge, but hasn't happened. We're rejecting here at zero line on trend strength. So really just not a lot of good stuff here. We're also below every single moving average, which is construed as a bearish <laughs> scenario, okay? So you don't typically wanna take longs into a lot of resistance, which we can see there's a ton between eight and 840. It's a ballpark, but that's that range there of resistance. We're also so far at this point, let's go ahead and double check our, let's just go ahead and this is ever since uh, roughly August. We can see the largest amount of control based on volume is $8 even. So with us being below that, that resistance level, do you really think we're just going to instantly emerge and start going straight up from here? 
No, the short answer is no. ICP is more likely to fall back and de decrease in value because we're below that resistance range. Now, again, macro points of controls are not like exact science. It's not going to come up to eight dollars and reject instantly. But the truth is, we look here. Our local point of control is also eight dollars. Okay, so it seems to be a consistent denominator or numerator. No, it depends, depends on what side you're on, of course. But at this point here, we can see for the most part, we're likely to see the price action reject off that level if it comes back up. Um, so I don't really like the price action here. We're below all moving averages on the four hour time frame as well. Also under 50, when you have everything, when you have the price underneath every single moving average on the daily and the four hour, that's a terrible situation you never want to take a long into. Now, do you take a short? Hypothetically, yes. Uh, we can see money flow index is pulling back, stochastic RSI is swinging down, MACD's diversion. We have a lot of reasons why the price will probably continue to run down. And that is based on the premise that Bitcoin should pull back. Because we look at its price action here, look at ICP's price action, okay? This is the last 24, well, let's just say this is the last 48 hours right here, okay? We're pretty much from top to bottom, we've had about a 7.5% correction. Bitcoin's last 24 hours has been a 5%, 5.5% increase. <laughs> is, there a good, is, is that a good pairing to you? Does that seem like a logical consideration I take along when Bitcoin's probably going to pull back? I think ICP is gonna rip down and sweep some of this liquidation. It just makes sense. Hourly time frame, Ichimoku cloud. Let's go ahead and confirm we're underneath the cloud. Lagging spans free and clear. Conversion lines below the baseline. There's nothing here that tells us you want to take a long position. Almost everything is telling us to take a short right now. The only um, you know consideration is the fact that Bitcoin very well could take off from here. And if so, I really don't see ICP doing the same thing. Uh, what I see is a lot of uh, a lot of potential to continue lower. We got this descending type of trend here as well. And generally speaking, when you see the price action work itself into a triangle, you are seeing lower highs and parallel lows. Basically just implying that we're knocking on this door of 790, and the more often we continue to retest it, the more likely it is to break down. So I do not like what I see here. I think we are more likely to see uh, ICP pull back. Now, where is a good consideration for take profit? Me personally, I'd probably take secure profits in the 770 to 760 range. Okay, because again, a lot of times you'll see in these, these liquidation sweeps, price just wick down and then recover as if it never happened. And then everybody who has a little high leverage long gets destroyed along the way. Okay, keep in mind, folks, there is a lot of liquidation down here, and this is not a good sign to take a long into. More importantly, it is a support range. Yes, I get that, and that is the one constellation you have going for you if you're considering a long right now but it doesn't make a ton of sense to do so. Either way, that's kind of what I got. What are your two cents? Feel free to comment below if you got a chance. Do not forget to like the video. Uh, feel free to pay attention to our Discord, Telegram, or Twitter. I do post uh, play out charts and pretty consistent relevant data there. And last thing too, if you're part of our community, exclusive deposit bonus this month for BitUnix, take advantage. Awesome reward bonus if you just go ahead and deposit funds. If you're new to the channel and or the community, you don't have an exchange that uh, doesn't require KYC or VPN, look no further. These guys are awesome. Thanks again. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.